guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Francis Lola. I'm a digital style and beauty content creator based in LA. And today I'm filming a little get ready with me tutorial. I'm gonna be showing you guys my go-to summer makeup routine using some of my favorite beauty products as of late. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. I will love you very much. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, first things first is some lip balm. I've been using the Kosa Sport Lip Fuel. This one has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. It's gonna help hydrate and plump the lips. I've been using this one for a while. This is actually my second one and I ran out, so I, yeah. All right, next up is some sunscreen. I always wear sunscreen every single day, no matter what I'm doing. This is the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergroup. It's got SPF 40. I've been using this one for a while because it's super lightweight and it comes on sheer, which I love. Next, we're going to prime the face with the YSL Beauty Touche Eclat Blur Primer. This one is really nice. Look how pretty that is. I'm almost to the end of the bottle. I've been using this one as well for a little while. It's just really lightweight as well and also non-greasy and applies really nicely onto the skin. I apologize for the AC noise. It's just really hot in here and it's the afternoon. The sun is beating down in my office and I do not want to start sweating profusely. So I'm just gonna leave the AC on. All right, we're gonna start off with some concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I actually was introduced to this at a photo shoot for Key a few months ago. The makeup artist that did my face was amazing and I had to ask her about all the products that she was using and I fell in love with this concealer because of her. I'm just gonna apply in my usual areas, just under the eyes and then down my temple. This one just blends so well. I sometimes don't even use foundation with this because it just blends into my skin so beautifully. It really just gives you that airbrushed look. All right, next we're gonna go in with some more concealer and cover up the tail ends of my microbladed eyebrows. I got them microbladed several years ago and I just recently wanted to change the shape to a more straight brow. I've just been doing this for like the past year and I find that this concealer works best because it's more full coverage. This is the Hourglass Vanish uh, Airbrush Concealer. This one comes on really nice. I actually like to use this more for like a night out um, all over but normally I just use this to cover the tail ends and I'll take like a really flat brush and just apply it and just kind of blend it out with my fingers. And then I'll just go back in and touch it up later. So we'll go back to that. So during the summer, I don't always love to use foundation, but for the purpose of this video, I wanted to show you guys the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. This is one of my favorite products ever. Um, Kosas is just a really great makeup brand. They're really clean and they call it the makeup for skincare lovers. Um, this is a really nice, it's like a really, really sharp, it's a really, really sheer skin tint and it comes on super lightweight and I love that because I love my freckles to shine through. This is the number four, and I usually just take a little bit and squeeze it straight onto this, the face. And then I'll take my finger to blend that out a bit. It's just so nice and lightweight, so it's just really great for the summer, or if you have dry skin like me. And then I'll just blend that out with my Beauty Blender. And this is an eco-friendly Beauty Blender, by the way. I really love how this comes onto the skin. It feels so nice and hydrating and really sheer so my freckles can still pop. All right, next let's contour. This is a recent fave by Makeup by Mario. This is the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in the color Light Medium. I feel like a lot of bronzers come on really red onto my skin, so this one is a perfect color for me. It's like the faintest, softest brown. I just apply that down the cheeks and around my jawline. nose. If you can't already tell, I love using wet makeup products. It just works better for me, especially in the summer. I'm just going to take a brush and blend that out. I just love this color so much. It's perfect. I'm just going to take a smaller brush and blend out my nose and under the lips area. Of course, everything I'm using is gonna be listed down below, but I'll also link the makeup brushes as well after it. 
All right, next we're going in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer in the color Caramel. This is the only uh, powder product I'll be using. Um, I like to just use this to set my bronzer and also just deepen the color a little bit. Just so little, like ever so slightly tapping the brush to the product. I feel like it just helps keep my bronzer in place. All right, I know I'm doing this kind of backwards for some of you guys, but I like to do my face before my eyes. So now I'm gonna move on to my eyes and I'm using the Hourglass Veil Eye Primer. I've been using this one for a while. The label's like coming off. But I just take a little bit to my eyes to help keep my eyeshadow looking bright throughout the day. All right, next moving on to the eyes. I'm gonna take this ColourPop palette called Your Golden. I love this one so much. I feel like the colors are so perfect for summer and it's just so pretty. I love how many colors there are too, so you can really play around with this palette. I'm gonna take the color Covet and Cruise and kind of blend those together and then apply that all over the lid, kind of fanning outwards. Guys, I've never done a tutorial where I'm like talking at the same time. This is really hard. <laughs> And then using a smaller brush, I'm gonna use the color Slumber and just apply that towards the center of my lids and really work my way out, kind of blending. I love this pretty coral color. This is like one of my favorite colors to use. Going to the other side. And I'm just gonna go back in with a fluffy brush and kind of buff that out. All right, moving on to eyeliner. I've been using the Black Magic Eyeliner by Ico. I feel like this was all the rage when it first came out. Everybody was talking about it and I actually had not tried it till just a few months ago and I fell in love. I love the applicator. I just feel like it makes it easy to apply. And I just usually apply some, I go like one third of the way into in from my lid and I just draw like a straight line out. And then I get a line, I start a line from the bottom of my eye, or like the very end, and meet that line up to the end of the first line. Oh my god, Kuma's moving me right now. Kuma wants to say hi. Hi. Oh, thanks. Thanks. You wanna join in on this tutorial? You wanna give people some makeup tips? Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, where were we? Going back to my liner. And then just carefully drawing a line out. And then I just fill in the space. Yeah. I know, I hear you. I know, Bubba. Let's do the other side. Going back to the eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna take the color Cover Up with a very thin, flat brush and apply some near my waterline. I like doing this and blending it outward to really open up the eyes a bit. It kind of acts as like a brown eyeliner. I like to use the powder. All right, moving on to the brows. I've been using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I've been using this one for years in the color Taupe. It's Pretty much identical to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, but for less than half the price. What is it, Bubba? Come here. Okay, you can join me. You gonna help me with my eyebrows? All right, I'm just gonna go in with this pencil and draw that straight brow I was talking about. I just draw a line outward instead of like arching it down. And I've just been loving this look. When I first started doing this, people thought I got like the threading done to like pull my head back, but it's just makeup, y'all. Kimo's head is like right. <laughs> I need like full concentration when I'm doing my brows.
All right guys, we are almost done here. I am using the Tower 28 Beach Please Luminous Tinted Balm in the color uh, Power Hour. I just got this one recently from Revolve Beauty and I've been loving this color. I take a little brush and just apply a little bit to my cheeks. A little bit goes a long way. I've been loving using a balm as opposed to powders just because powders just dry out my skin and we don't need that. I love this color so much on the cheeks. It looks so good. Let's move on to the lips. I'm using the Kevin O'Coin Unforgettable Lip Definer in the color Undressed. This is a super sheer nude color. And I just use it to line my lips ever so slightly. I love this one a lot. The color is just really natural. Next, we are going with some Gucci. I don't want to butcher this name, so I'm just going to call this the Glow and Care Shine Lipstick. This is the color Princess Naram Rose. It's like a really gorgeous pinky coral color. This is like a lip balm lipstick hybrid. I've been trying to use less uh, matte lipsticks because they just dry out my skin so much. So I just dab a little bit of this onto the lips. Since it's like a really bright color, I don't need too much of it. You can tell it's like really smooth and creamy and hydrating. That's why I love this, this product. I have a couple colors and this one's my favorite. It's like the perfect little pink tint for the summer. All right guys, very last step here is some setting spray. Of course, this is the Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. I love this one because it's very hydrating and also lightweight. That is my go-to, just lightweight hydrating products because my skin is on the dry side, but this one is really fine. You just shake it really well before use and then a good spritz all over to set everything and make sure your makeup stays in place all day. All right guys, and that is pretty much it for my go-to summer makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Thank you guys so much for getting ready with me. I will link all the products in the description box down below along with the makeup brushes that I used. Let me know in the comments what kind of other videos you guys wanna see from me and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye. Come on, say goodbye.